Good evening, good evening, and welcome along to the Armagh City Hotel for the biggest night of country music. Welcome to the Northern Ireland Country Music Awards 2024. I'm Robin Elliott, and she's Kim Kelly. How are you? Yeehaw, that's all I can say. What a night and what a crowd here at the Country Music Awards. Look at all these people. They're here to support their favourite Northern Irish country music stars, and we can't wait to see them. I have never seen so many country music fans in one venue, but as well as that, Kim, I've never seen so many stars of Irish country in one venue either. Honestly, backstage there are so many wonderful people. I have met so many legends already. I'm so I saw that. Uncle Hugo getting changed backstage. I actually saw him too, but I didn't know that sounds terrible. He was fully dressed. You were very taken by John McNichol, I believe, weren't you? Yes, he's very handsome, wearing a lovely white suit. I thought he looked very dapper, and I'm looking forward to hearing him sing. Yeah, well, you're going to hear a lot of people sing tonight, a lot of awards being given out as well, and you, you're going to be mingling all around the place, aren't you? Well, I'm actually thinking of storming the stage and maybe singing a little. As you know, I love singing, so is tonight the night? I think tonight could be your big moment to crack the Irish country scene. And who knows, Kim Kelly, this time next year, you could be tearing up the heritage charts. Keep her country. find the most glamorous woman in this room it's Claire now Claire what's your favorite country song I'd say wagon wheel like it gets you buzzing like 
Shall we do a little little sing song? Rock me, mama, mama like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Eh, 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 mama, rock me. She's some singer boy. <laughs> Look who I find. It's only everybody's Uncle Hugo. Hugo, what are you doing here tonight? I'm KK. <laughs> that sounds really good. Hugo D and KK. I, I think we could be in a band. We could do a wee band or maybe even a programme. You never know. Now there's a thought. Now, Hugo, who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Oh, well, I, I enjoy everything because, and you know what I do like? I like the, the younger ones who are coming in here and they're so full of ambition and they have everything going for them and they're all searching for this. You know, I was just thinking coming up tonight, when I started off in the business, there were so many ballrooms, there were so many dance halls, there were so many concert halls. Now everything is cut away down. So it's, it's a matter of luck just uh, getting all that. But I do wish them all well, and they're all so enthusiastic. And you know, when they get to my age, like I'm in it now, nearly 55 years. No way, not 55 years. Now, Hugo, I've been asking people to sing with me tonight their favorite song. Give us a wee verse. Of what? Anything. What about the blanket on the ground down there? Oh, Come let's... and look out through the window. Yo. You got me right in the middle of a where I want to be. Making my every dream come true. Living my fantasy. All this kissing and a hug me meets all I've ever seen. Yeah, you got me. Two up and coming country singers here. 
Sinead, tell us all who your granny is. I am Susan McCann's granddaughter, so it's been running through the blood from a very young age, so I'm well versed on all this crack by now. And doesn't she have the looks of her granny? And what about you, Rachel? Yeah, um, I've been singing out the last few years as well. Um, I'm a part of a family band. It includes my dad and my brother. So, yeah, the three of us are out gigging all the time. So, yeah. I cannot wait to hear these girls singing. Look at them. They got that memo that said, where's sequence? I love it. Well done, girls. Thank you so much. So here we are backstage. This is the green room where all the stars are getting changed, getting ready for their big night on stage. And here he is, the main man behind it all, Malcolm McDowell. How are you, sir? I'm very good, Robin. Very composed, <laughs> as usual. Very professional. I have to say, you are very calm because you've been running around all day. And usually at this stage, you're tearing what little bit of hair you have left out of your head. But you, you seem very relaxed. I've no energy to do anything else. <laughs> I have no energy to have a breakdown. Yeah. No, everything's fine. Everything's been planned, organised. I've Hugo now on the stage at the moment, so 
I've learned now to get people on the stage and give me a breather. That's yes. the way to go. Yeah. Now, when you Delegate. talk, yes. Now, when you talk about getting people on the stage, there's something like 40 acts here tonight, isn't yes. there? That's a lot of organisation. That organisation is timed well. Uh, the main thing is musicians have all the charts, everything done out weeks ago. So it's not a matter of somebody getting up and on oh, what song. They are ready. Everything is ready to go, like TV. Who are you looking forward to seeing on stage tonight, then? Hey. Different ones. Connor Chisholm, a grandson of Frank Chisholm, the Elvis wow. impersonator. I remember Frank from years ago. And the thing about it is, this guy is undiscovered. Nobody has heard him. Right, okay. He first sang uh, Christmas Day with his grandfather. His grandfather never heard him singing. Yeah. Just in the house. Yeah. And that, that's the start of it. So that's your big tip Ooh, for this tonight? This is the Grand then? National. Okay. <laughs> you heard it here first. Connor Chisholm, he's the one to watch out for. Midlands that I have left behind The cabins and the people are ever on my mind I see the plains of Longford and the Shannon and Athlone And to those lovely Midlands I'm going home Since I left my home in Granard my father has passed on And soon my aging mother will follow for long, but here I stand in Kilburn with no friend to call my own. And to those lovely Midlands, I'm going home. Every day in every way, the city gets me down. Pockets filled with money, and each face wears a frown. I leave behind this city with its troubles and its Back home to settle in the Midlands once again. Now back at home in Granard, my true love waits for me. I know that she'll be faithful, though I'm not there to see. So I'll leave behind this city. With his troubles and his pain And go back home to settle In the Midlands once again Every day in every way This city gets me down Pockets filled with money And each face wears a frown I'll leave behind this city With his troubles and his pain And go back home to settle in the Midlands once again Those misty rolling Midlands Will be my home again My home again I'm here with Vincent Locker and the photographer for the evening And Vincent, I heard you singing Are you a big country fan? A very big country fan, yes, indeed Who's your favourite? No favourite, but Philly Mania Bagley's one I have very, I've been photographing for, I'd say, about close on 50 years. And I've heard that you're a great singer. Go on, give us a tune. No, I have a sore leg. <laughs> they all say that. Awful. <laughs> Whenever people ask me what I do, I say I've been known to sing a song or two Theatres, marquees and dance halls Some might say I've almost done it all I'm right behind the spotlight of my life I'm a loving mother and a wife I've just got country music in my soul And I've been up, I've been down Every city, every town The silver dollar queen who laid the blanket on the ground I'm still the girl next door Who loves a good encore And I'll 
Okay, Derek, another night, another massive awards ceremony. These nights are always fantastic, aren't they? Yeah, always fantastic. Uh, massive crowd, as you say, sold out. So, um, yeah, I haven't been on yet, so I'm looking forward to getting on. Yeah. So what are you going to sing tonight, then? Uh, just, I suppose, the usual, uh, Hold On To Your Hat and God's Plan, the kind of two standards, you know, we have uh, just two songs, whatever. So, um, yeah, kind of go for the ones, that, the ones that everyone knows, hopefully. So. Excellent. So what's the plan then for 2024? What's in the pipeline then? Yeah, I'm working on a new album at the minute now. Um, I kind of held off on it. Uh, normally I kind of release one for Christmas or whatever, but we held off and um, just wasn't... I, I had a bit of a, a dose of me like around September time, just held up a load of vocals. So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to rush it. I'm just going to, you know, take my time. So I'm um, working away on that now and it's sounding great. And uh, yeah, just... Probably out maybe April, May time, hopefully, but uh, yeah, there's no panic, so it's all good. <laughs> are you heading back out into the sun this year then? We are. We have two weeks uh, beating the heat, trip to the sun. The first week is sold out, the second week is just about sold out, maybe 20 or 30 places yeah. left now, so um, it's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah, it's one of those things. We just did it last year. Um, I know a lot of people have, have done them, but my first time was last year, and just crazy uh, demand. Yeah, so really good crack um, so if anyone fancies coming along do get it booked because it's it's going to sell yeah excellent okay let's play one of your music videos now which one should we go for oh uh, the kick him in kick yeah. him in yeah. all right yeah. here he is Derek Ryan on the main street there's a place we meet where the crack is good, we're understood, night and day. They know me, they know what to pull me. A wink of an eye, a howie of eyes, we're on our way. When you drink at the kick of men, how they're never gonna kick you out. You could be rolling at a glass of gin, or swimming in a pool of stout. If you're swinging from the rafters, sure we worry about it after. Breezy going when the beer is flowing. If you're stressed, get it off your chest. We're all friends. We smash guitars, dancing on the bar. When the sun comes out, it's forgotten about. What happens at the kick em, stays at the kick em when you drink at the kick em in I've been never gonna kick you out You could be rolling at a glass of gin Or swimming in a pool of stout If you're swinging from the rafters Sure we worry 
coming country singers now these are the ones the ladies have been waiting for all evening it's gavin and connor so connor what are you singing tonight um i'm singing a song it's called just pretend and is that one of your own songs or is well, that a it's a it's a song i took from a, a country and western album in 1970 so i took that there so it's a really good song i look forward to singing it and can i ask you connor how old are you 22 so how did a 22 year old get into country and irish singing well, uh, uh, country and Irish isn't my. Uh, I've been invited along, and I'm really looking forward to it. My uh, my background will be with my granddad. He would have sung a lot of uh, 
um, like American, you know, country, and then a bit of Elvis and stuff like that there. Oh. So that's 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 my background. So that's that's how I've been. Malcolm seen me in a, in, a, in the paper, and he just looked forward to. Uh, meet me and then he's I'm, I'm here now so <laughs> you're here with all the country stars from Northern Ireland and what are your plans for this year well I just want to see where things take me I'm, I'm not going to dive in Danning and, and uh, but anything I'm asked to do I look forward to doing it I have an album coming out this year so I look forward to releasing that it's called We Can Make in the Morning Lovely. so well, the uh, very best of luck well to thank you. you very much and now over to you, Gavin. Now, a couple of ladies out in that audience said they were looking forward to seeing you, Gavin. Are you the new heartthrob of Irish country music? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 22, just past it. Another 22-year-old. So how did you get into this genre of music? Well, believe it or not, my, my parents and grandparents, and I suppose there's, there's different members of my, of my family now have been involved in this, game, this scene or even similar scenes. And when I was younger, actually... A funny story, we're in Norma City Hotel here tonight and on this very stage about 12 or 13 years ago I actually done a talent competition. So it's actually quite funny, you see a couple of people even who were in that competition back all those years ago, they're back here tonight as well. And what do your friends make of you being a country singer? In fairness, the friends at the start, they, were, they heard me singing and they, they supported me but they were saying, ah this is not a bit of us, they're more into the, the discos and, and things like that and then I remember actually one time, whenever I released the, the song, The Pub Crawl, mm -hmm. they turned around to me and like, you know what, actually, that's not too bad. You know, we could, we could listen to that. <laughs> so. Oh, well, that's very high, high praise, isn't it, from 22-year-olds. From and what do you think of Taylor Swift? Uh, Taylor, the Tay-Tay fans. <laughs> yes. Would you do a duet? If the opportunity rose, definitely. <laughs> I think I probably would too. Thank you very much, boys. If I don't make it home, well, I'll be there in the morning. And if I don't make it home, I'll be there tomorrow night. I was on the bus last night, the same again this morning. And if I don't make it home, well, I'll be there before the dawn. With a couple of lads, we had a few together When the landlord he called time, we were right under the weather He came across to me, and he said you best believe him As I struggled to the door, well me belly it was even Should be. We had punching beer and whiskey. Now the good old mountain Jew, sure it makes me feel quite risky. That lovely busty barmaid, she filled me up beside her. She took me up the stairs, but I fell asleep beside her. And if I don't make it home, well, I'll be there in the morning. And if I don't make it home, I'll be there tomorrow. Tomorrow night And if I don't
There's a little piece of heaven on a wild and distant shore. And it's always calling me both night and day. Watch the wild Atlantic foam kiss the ground where I was grown. In my dreams, I'm in my homeland, far away. Crowded streets with heads held low, never stop, don't say hello. Find a job, a room you live from day to day. Work your fingers to the bone, just to send some money home to your loved ones in your homeland far away. As I slept last night, the vision of an angel came to rouse me from the dark. Request, lift me high and fly me west to my people and my homeland far away. In this vast and gloomy space of the sun familiar place memories can burst the sunrise through the gray but my thoughts they always turn to the day I will return to my people and my homeland far away Step last night, the vision of an angel came to rouse me from the darkness where I lay. Won't you grant my last request? Lift me high and fly me west to my people. I think I have found the real spirit of country music right here in Armagh tonight. So, you look absolutely amazing tonight in, in your sequin dress there, Jackie. So, what's your favourite song? Oh, probably the one we're going to sing tonight, The Pain of Loving You. <laughs> Can you give us a little bit? Oh, the pain of loving you, oh, the misery I go through. Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she absolutely? And Dustin, she looked like an absolute doll in her dress. Now, what, what about you, Michael? What's your favourite song? Oh, I'm just a George Jones, a Merle Haggard, well, big fan. Uh, what do we see? What, what today? Today I started loving you again. I'm right back where I've always really been. I'll get over you just long enough to let my heart mend. Well, today. I started loving you again. He looked right at me whenever he sang that and I've gone weak at the knees with this talent. I love it. <laughs>
my faithful friends It's been so long Since I sailed away From my own native home But Ireland's always been Here on my mind Oh, what a gift Just to be there one more time I'll always have No matter where I go, I know where I came here from. My old land and I will never be far apart. For I'll always have an Irish heart. My faithful friends, the time has come to leave this world and to enter God's home. I pray it's lie behind, he'll understand. I need to say. To my Ireland I'll always have an Irish heart No matter where I go I know where I came here from My home Now, we're judging the buffet tonight because we go to a lot of these things and you always have to say how good the sausages are, how good the chicken is. What do you reckon? No, the goujons are crispy delight. Hey, crispy on the outside, but juicy and a lovely chewing sensation in the middle, you know, you know. Fabulous. Okay, now what about the sandwiches? I have the egg and onion. What's your favourite sandwich? I mean, also I haven't went to the sandwiches yet. They haven't really caught my eye. But if you were to choose a sandwich, what would your favourite sandwich be? If somebody was going to make you a sandwich right now, what would you ask for? Probably chicken sweet corn and mayonnaise. Okay, there we go. Last time we spoke to you, you were dreaming to be a superstar. The record was out, it was doing well. Have you reached that superstar status yet? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I'm there yet. I'm, st I'm still You're trying. You're there, Caleb Joe. You're I'm still nearly trying. There. He's You're nearly there. there, he's nearly there. But We're going to be there every step of the way with them. Be a country star someday Spending my life singing away How it would bring me a smile To live my life in sky I wish to be a superstar And sing my nights away 
So anyway, what's happening music-wise for you? Anything big, exciting happening? Well, I'm here at the Northern Ireland Country Music Awards tonight. This is really the only big thing starting off the year for me, but and we've got a starting to get back into the swing of things. We yeah. are now that we're at the start of the new year. So what are you going to sing for us on stage tonight then? Uh, I'm going to be singing The Best Part of the Day is the Night. Okay, exactly, right. Who are you looking forward to seeing on stage tonight? Definitely uh, the likes of Margot O'Donnell. And you, I'm excited to see Derek Ryan and all yeah. that there. Yeah. And her and Amber Campbell, she, she's a lovely wee singer, so she is as well. Okay, okay. Should we play one of your songs now? Oh, why not? Yeah. Do you know which one I'm going to play, actually? I'm going to play the one from the Ivory Sessions. Tell us about that song. Well, uh, I did that song, I can't remember, it was a wee while ago with uh, Mark. He was on the keyboard. Oh, I had a lovely time with him. He's, he's wild good, so he is on the keyboard and all. I just had a wonderful time, you know, working on the song. And, yeah. and it's such a lovely song with a lovely story behind it, isn't it? Yes, uh, that's one of the reasons I chose the song. I just, as soon as I heard it, it just caught my attention. So I did, you know, story behind it. E even any of the songs I sing, I always try and listen to the, the story behind it and the impact I can bring on people. So. Okay. Look into the camera and introduce your music video. My name is Killin' Joe, and this is Killin' Joe's Love Me in the Ivory Sessions. I read and all my grandma wrote back in 1923. Grandpa kept it in his coat, he showed it once to me. Said, boy, you might not understand, but a long, long time ago. Grandma's dad. between now and then till I see you again I'll be loving you love me I read those words just hours before my grandma passed away If you get there before I do, don't give up on me. I'll meet you in my doors hard through. I don't know how long I'll be here. I'm not gonna let you down. Darling, wait and see. Cause between now and then, till I see you again.
well. We've got some young ladies here who are just getting ready to go on stage and perform. And don't they both look absolutely gorgeous? I've got Jamie and Patricia who are both up on stage later on tonight. Are you feeling a bit nervous? No, not nervous at all. No, I'm singing a song tonight that I, I know, like the back of my hand, as you would say. So <laughs> I'm not really nervous. No, I'm fine. What are you singing? I'm singing Truck Driving Woman. It was my first single that I released and um, it went down really well. So I like to do stuff that people know me for. So of that's course. what I'm doing tonight. Yes, yeah. So, yes, yeah. Yes. And what's your favourite song to sing? Oh, I have loads of songs. I just, I genuinely just do love singing. It doesn't really matter what song it is. Um, I suppose that the last single that I uh, released is called Golden Jubilee and it's a real lively number. So, yes. and it's, it's a really old song like, and yes. people love it. So I suppose I would go for that one. I like singing that one. So do you have any plans for this year? Are you going out and tour or anything? I, I actually sing in a wedding band myself as well as, you know, uh, doing solo singing as well. So, um... Uh, yes, I would like to get a new single. It has been a wee while. I got married and I had a baby and I'd done all that. So it's been a wee while from I release anything new. Yes. So yes, this year I want to get back in the bandwagon and get a song released yes. and get myself back out there again. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll get back out and get songs released and get back on the radar again. <laughs> so what about being a new mummy? How do you find that? How do you find combining the two? Uh, yeah, it's good. It, it works at the minute. Um, I don't know how long it's going to work for, yes. but at the minute it works very well. Um, my husband's great. He comes in from work and I go out and it's great. So it works It works really, really well at the minute. And yeah, I love it. I was back out whenever Malachi was, wasn't even three months old. So it's just, it's just if it's in you, it's in you. You just have to go and do it. So no, I love it and it works at the minute. So it's great. Well, that's fantastic. There is a woman combining motherhood and stardom. <laughs> and over here we have Jamie. Now, Jamie, you're only 23. How did you get into this kind of music? Oh, um, I think I started when I first uh, started playing guitar. I was 10 and I went to a man called RJ Gaterson and he, how we learned was he brought in new songs every week and we would have played and he loved country music. So by playing myself, you know, I just got so excited and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And country music, I feel like tells so many stories within their lyrics, um, which I really could connect to as well. So I've just loved it ever since. So what are your plans for 2024? Um, I am dabbling a, a few more genres. I actually do acting as well in musical theatre, so um, I'm doing that this year. And yeah, I've actually released, well, I'm going to release a new single now. It's actually what I'm singing tonight. It's an Olivia Newton-John song called If You Love Me, Let Me Know. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to perform that tonight. Well, here at NVTV, we're all huge fans of musical theatre. So what are you doing with musical theatre this year? Well, I um, I just played the role of Elle Woods there at a local production wow. we did Legally Blonde, which was so fun. And yeah, I got an agent over in London, so we're just going through loads of auditions at the moment, hoping something will land. So that's me. Goodness me, I am sitting here with the new Taylor Swifts. <laughs> Watch this space, everybody.
Lauren, you've got a long wait tonight, haven't you, before you go on stage? I do. I'm not on for about, I would say, another two hours, but it's fine. We're going to talk, mingle, have the crack and chill out before I get nervous. Because these nights are just fabulous, aren't you? Because you meet everybody, don't you? It's like you don't see anyone in the industry because everyone's gigging, doing their own thing. And nights like this, everyone just comes together and it's lovely to see everyone again. Like It is. And do you know what? In all the years I've been doing this, I never had the chance to meet Margot. And I've just met Margot, oh and she goodness. was absolutely amazing as she was. She is so lovely. I actually did the Hot Country Awards back last year, and that was my first time meeting her. And she came over and she was giving me all the most brilliant advice, and I was soaking it in like a wee sponge. Um, so, yeah, I'll be, I actually haven't seen her tonight, so I'll be looking out for her. Brilliant. Okay. So, what's 2024 got in store for you? Because last year was a crazy year, wasn't it? Last year was brilliant. Oh, my goodness. It was just one month after the other, and something kept cropping up to the point now where 2024 is shaping up to be just as busy. And uh, last year I did say that we had an album coming out. Um, that was postponed. Okay. So it's coming out this year. Very, very soon, actually. And tonight I'm actually singing uh, my brand new single, which is going to be on the album. So, yeah, it's exciting. We have a few gigs. Summer's happening. Yeah, it's going to be a good year. Good, good. Tell us about the new single. What's it called? Next to You, Next to Me. So it's an old Shenandoah a number. And uh, Robert Mazel done a version of it back a good few years ago. So I've just taken it, put my own spin on it, and we'll see how things go.
dreams have shattered, don't you see? That you no longer care for me. I miss the wonder of your kiss. How could you leave me here like this? Hey, stop the world and let me off.